Hello, this week we're in Lancashire at Hay Country Park on the Leeds-Liverpool Canal heading north towards Gargrave. But before we start, just in case you're new to the channel, let me introduce ourselves. We're Paul and Anthony and we live on a narrowboat and this is our old boy Dexter. We tried to go green by converting to an electric narrowboat. Anthony still works part time and I create art and videos that follow our journey. It can be a real challenge at times but every day is an adventure and we've met some amazing people along the way. Why not follow us on our journey? This is Anthony with Dexter. Dexter's 16 and a half, bless him. We've just left the boat, We're jumping in the car and driving round to the hall at the top of the hill. It's a bit far for Dexter to walk, to be honest. I think it'd take him about 40 minutes. Um, I'm meeting our friends Debbie and Sol from Burley Floating. So we're going up to the courtyard, have a little wonder, maybe get something to eat. Right, there was an event on at Hay Country Park. We didn't realise it took longer to drive than if we'd have walked up and down the hill twice. But yeah, it's too far for Dexter to walk. Um, check him. Yeah, it was a lovely afternoon. So we just sat on a bench, eating pizza, and a couple of drinks and an ice cream. So yeah, very nice afternoon. Just heading back to the boat. What a beautiful day. That week, there was a glimmer of hope that we'd see the Northern Lights. Who would have imagined that we could witness this from our narrowboat in Lancashire? Well, I've been working all day. It's felt like all day, but it was just one magic show. First show since I've had my uh, eye surgery found it quite difficult to drive but I could see we're just back at the boat just been for a meal we get back to the boat and look at this oh so this was in a bag and I was like what's that and it's to Dexter we love you Dawn Duncan but uh, Dawn and Duncan Francis Heather says hi to all from White Bear Marina uh -huh. how lovely is that and Dexter watch in Ah, what's that? <laughs> you got a new tie, Dexter. Nice. Got a new tie. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that's really kind. Thank you so much, guys. That's really, really kind. People are nice, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Morning. Morning. Oh, it's beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Saul and I moved up yesterday. Um, it was it was about eight, it was about four hours. Hey, are you right? <laughs> It's about four hours from um, Hay Hall, wasn't it? Yeah. To Chorley. You've not got a speaking part at this point because you didn't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, about four, four, four and a half hours from um, Hay Hall to. Um, we're at the bottom of Johnson Hill at Locks. We went to Malt House Pub yesterday, which is just here by Bridge 80. Um, food was really nice, we had a few drinks. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice evening, so we're all ready to tackle the locks this morning. Well, can I just say, Anthony did the stretch yesterday from Hay Hall to here with Saul because I was at work. First magic show for three weeks since I've my eye up. Uh, driving, driving was okay. <laughs> Don't mind us. Driving was okay. The show was hard work it was very hot, but oh, it's so nice that we've got a couple of days off together, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we've got, we're gonna crack on seven locks in front of us. We're just gonna get to the top, fill with water, and find some way to more. Yep. I've even cleaned the skylights for you, so enjoy today's journey. See you soon. Looking forward to it, aren't we? Let's go and see if Saul's awake. Yeah. Anthony's still talking. Yeah, right, Dexter? Wow, what a beautiful day. We love this stretch from Hay Hall all the way to Johnson Hillock Flight. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous day. I had a lovely walk this morning uh, just by the bottom lock, Johnson Hillock Flight. Turn left along the river. It's beautiful along there. Wish we could stay a bit longer. 
thought Anthony would have set the locks by now. He's still talking to those people. a bit of a tight squeeze getting into these locks. How about 60 feet long? Is yours 57 though? 45. Oh, 45. Should have held that by now. Oh yeah, it's a bit of a squeeze. So how are you coping with the extra length? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's <laughs> what so I do that. Yeah? Yeah. The bar off the pram hood was causing us quite a few problems. We had to lift it every time we went into a lock so we could close the gates. And if we'd have known what was going to happen later in the day, we'd have took the bar off. Okay. Can you stay in, in the lock so the next Yeah, can do. I'll walk with him. Well, we've been sat in this lock while the next lock's emptying because it's easy to control the boat. We're not using power, we're not using bow and stern thrusters, and it's just so much easier to sit there if there's nobody else waiting to use the locks. Lots of gone goozles about today. People have been chatting, asking about the locks and the boat. It's really nice. Johnson Hillock locks in Chorley, Lancashire are a flight of seven locks and they raise the canal by 65 and a half feet or 20 metres. Yeah. Anthony, we'll go back and do those gates. Well, how do you what? I'll go back and do those gates. Oh, yeah. You, you, you set the next lock, I'll, I'll this side. Cool. Well, I've just run down to the bottom lock to close the gates behind us. That's lock 64. Bottom lock on the Johnson Hillock. The boat's safe, it's right near the top of the water. Sol's keeping an eye on our boat. Anthony's gone ahead to set the next lock. Oh, we're flying up. Okay. Yeah, sit on there, there. <laughs> See you later. Nice, you nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So we'll see you again yeah, thank you. Thank you. We were hoping this year to travel on the Leeds Liverpool Canal as far as York, and we were going to travel with Heidi, which would have been great fun. Unfortunately, there's a lockout at Leeds. We think we may get as far as Gargrave and maybe even Skipton. Are you ready, Saul? Yeah, yeah. Ready. A bolt's just crashed into us. <laughs> yeah, both gates were stuck. They wouldn't open fully. So yeah, it's bound to happen. It's only paint. It's contact sport really, isn't it? You can't be too precious on a narrow boat. If it was a car, I'd be fuming. What a boat, you just don't mind it. <laughs> Not to the car. <laughs> Anthony's working really hard today, but he's enjoying his keep fit regime. I've still got to take it easy because of my eye, and I can't wait to get back and start doing the locks. It's nice, isn't it? I do like this section. Yeah. You alright? 
I might get Dexter up for a minute. Keep an eye on the boat. Dexter still likes to get off the boat and have a wonder. I don't know what people see in narrow boats in. Look at this scenery, it's stunning, isn't it? It's hard life. Yeah, <laughs> somebody's got to do it. These lockies are a bit slack though. Yeah. <laughs> Right, mate, it's a bit warm for dogs today, isn't it? Are you enjoying the Johnson Hillock flight? I very much am. Yeah. See, it's hard work though, hard work. <laughs> <laughs> this house here and this bridge is just beautiful. We love this area. Can I just point out, you're seeing the best of what's going on today. If we're bickering and rowing, you don't want to watch that, so we don't tend to film it. But let us know in the comments below if you'd rather we include that. <laughs> yeah, it's like every couple. I'm beeping at Anthony because he's talking to people and he's shouted at me. Yeah, I'm in control of the lot. Saul's going first into this lock. Because he's a shorter boat, if the gates aren't open fully, it's easier for Saul to get in and then me to get alongside. Morning. You're about to hear a crunch, and this is where we damage our pram frame. Cycle back to the barn. Meet in the front car park. Oh, right, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's 
Oh blimey, I was busy filming Anthony then and the boat went crunch and it's bent the frame, the pramod frame. I knew it would happen, it's too long, it sticks out beyond the button. But it's my fault, so I'll apologise, but it's my fault because I should have been watching our boat. <sighs> Hopefully we can get a hammer to it and straighten it. That's heavy gate that. <laughs> Are they as hard as Debbie said, these locks? Yeah, some of them. Are, I mean, even that guy, he was massive, wasn't he? Dead tall. Yeah. He went, blimey, these are heavy, I don't know. Right, well, the next lock isn't set yet. It only looks about half full. This is a massive pound, so we've come out so Anthony can close those gates. We're not that far from the top now and we want to say a big thank you to little Esme who was a little girl that really wanted to help out with the locks with the assistance of her dad. <sighs> How have you found doing the locks? i still got a bit of a chest infection so it's not great. Oh. Really tired. Oh, you've done really well. And I've been jogging up and down in between. And that's, why so, that's why you're so trim, and Listen. I'm not. <laughs> Time for a cider when we're done, I think. So, is your tiller arm all right? Why? It's near the gate. Should be. See if I can get back on boat. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name? Esme. Esme. We'll give you a mention on YouTube, Esme. <laughs> it's always a relief to get to the top lock, and especially nice knowing that we had a water point, a rubbish point, and a pub. Right, that's the last lock of the day. We're just at the top lock pub and the top lock uh, the water point on the left there are two boats uh, one's waiting to come down one's filling with water we're going to stay in the lock it makes sense because there's nowhere for us to moor if we come out of the lock so as soon as they fill with water we'll come out of the lock what's the plan then so the plan is these guys are filling with water as soon as they're full we can or soul can move out get in their place and do a shift it and then the guys behind are also coming in the lock with them we can have their space but we obviously, that's it, that's the only space that's available, so we need to wait till they're full. And you're off on your I'm bike, are you? I'm off on my bike, let's go back for the van, and I'm going to park here, take Saul back to Hayhall for his van, come back and have a well-deserved pint. Yes, you have worked hard. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. See you next time. As we waited for that boat to fill with water, it was a good time to get rid of our rubbish. A big thanks to little Esme for helping out at the locks. I think she's having a well-deserved pint. <laughs> On the left here, there's a water point, the showers, toilets, and an LSAM point. And the rubbish point is just opposite the top lock pub. You do need a handcuff key to undo the lock. Yeah. 
you were blooming quick, were you? Yeah, it wasn't that long. I can't believe it. I turned around and you were there. Yeah, it didn't, didn't take long. It's only a three minute drive, so yeah. it's only like a ten minute bike ride. Right. Yeah. Have we got a plan? We have. Uh, is it, does, it, does it involve the pub? Never. <laughs> Just for <a> Diet Coke? <laughs> You're rude not to, isn't it? I thought you weren't drinking again. That was yesterday. That's what you call flat out, Dexter. What do you think we're up to? Why are we filling with water? Not having a minute with our feet up. Well, I am, but I'm taking it easy. Dexter's taking it easy. Anthony's busy in the galley. And you're like Superman today. You've done all the locks, you've been running, you've took the bike back for the van. And now what are you doing? And now I'm cooking. I've been doing dinner. It. What are you making? Uh, it's a hairy dietist recipe that we have years ago. Oh, is it tumble spud? It is tumble spud. Oh, I used to love that. It smells nice. Thanks for looking after me. All right. <laughs> so yeah, just for the record, Anthony has looked after me because he's had to do all the locks and all the driving and all the shopping. I do do cooking, but Anthony even films me when I cook. <laughs> do you? Yeah. And this is where we ended up more in It's Wheelton. And isn't it stunning? We ended up spending two weeks here and catching up with friends. It's been a very long but enjoyable day. We're just settling down to tumble spuds, which Anthony's been working hard on, and it's really hot, so a big thank you, Anthony. He's done all the locks today. He's cycled back for the van. He's drove the van back up to Wheelock, so Wheelton, massive thank you. Uh, what a lovely evening. We're gonna sit out on the toll path and have drinks with our friends, we think. You're looking a little bit burnt, Anthony. I feel very burnt. <laughs> Because I've been like walking between all the locks, so mm. I've not even had any shelter. So yeah, it was lovely. Um, we've been travelling with Sol from Barely Floating. Um, but we haven't seen Neil and Cheryl on Narrowboat Hakuna Matata for two years. So it was really lovely to get a message to say that they're up this way. So we've moored near them, we've been to the pub, we're going to have a little towpath um, tucker. Oh, are you enjoying your dinner that I've made for you? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm enjoying it because I've made it. <gasps> so we're going to end it here today. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're really chuffed with um, the amount of new subscribers we've got. Um, so welcome to the channel. And keep your comments coming because I really do love to reply to them. It's really interesting to see what people have to say about what they watched. Um, have a nice evening. Bye. Bye.